I'm sure we've all heard the recent controversy surrounding a pretty well-known YouTuber, Sniper Wolf. If you haven't, a quick rundown is her and another well-known YouTuber, Jax Films, were having some drama over Jack claiming Sniper Wolf steals content. And a few days ago, she posted on her Insta story asking her followers if she should go to where Jack lives, and she ended up doxing him. More information and updates has been released on this topic, so today, news anchor Pluto will be going over these new updates. Like and sub if you enjoy, let's just begin. About five or so days ago, these posts were posted on Sniper Wolf's story. Jack and his family were put in a grave amount of danger with this considering Jack's size and influence on the internet. Luckily, Jack and his family are okay. Nothing has happened yet to them physically, but Jack has stated that him and his family have been shaken up by this event. After the docs, however, Jack responded with this tweet stating, Sniper Wolf just doxed me on her IG. Creepy, gross, violating. What you do is disgusting. You steal content and stalk YouTubers. At YouTube, demonetize this dangerous quote unquote creator or just get her off your platform. She posted an IG story right outside our home and deleted it. This was immediately followed up with Sniper Wolf claiming it's not doxing because his address is available to the public already, which like, come on. Now that's about the stupidest excuse she could have said in that moment. Sniper Wolf has been involved in many controversies throughout her YouTube career. Some notable ones being when she told minors to, in her own words, twerk for her on Omegle in 2014 like she was trying to play tickle touch with them. And most recently is her divorce with her ex-husband Sausage, who cheated on her some time back. Now throughout all of this, her biggest sponsor G Fuel has stuck with her giving her what I can only assume is to be millions of dollars throughout their sponsorship. But as of today, G Fuel has removed her flavor off their collection. Now if you try to go to Sniper Wolf's flavor on their website, this page will pop up. Now for G Fuel being one of, if not her biggest sponsor to leave her, it is only the first sign of many to be the end of Sniper Wolf's career. Now when the whole situation was just coming out, Sniper Wolf's sister Wolfie, I don't know how to pronounce that to be honest, this woman. <laughs> has been defending her sister on Twitter, with tweets such as, suck my nuts, as a response to someone advocating for the removal of Sniper Wolf from YouTube. <laughs> and another response to someone saying they would have a uh, Pew pewed Sniper Wolf saying, Bro said he would shoot a 5'4, 100 pound girl. Lamau, you're tough as fuck, huh? And just a quick side note anyone that uses low or Lamau unironically, I hope your plate is hot and your food is freezing when you microwave it. Now, personally, if anyone was to post a picture of my home for millions to see, I would also have a similar reaction because in Jack's case, he has a wife and kids. So I can see where the tweet is coming from. But I can also see Emily's response as valid. By Emily, I mean Wolfie because that name is weird and she looks like Emily from Quartz Pride. But I can see her tweet as valid because 5'4 and 100 pounds wouldn't really call for pew pewing somebody. Today, Jack posted this video to his subscribers. I'll play a snippet for you all now. Sniper Wolf, a massive YouTuber, showed up outside of our home, recorded a video of our home, and then posted it to her 5.6 million Instagram followers, goading me with the line, let's talk like adults. In my 17 years on YouTube, I've never once had someone come to my home and vaguely threaten me. Sniper Wolf needs to be deplatformed. In this exact moment, she turned from a mere content thief to someone who doxes and stalks her critics. To everyone that's reached out to us, thank you. We're fine. We're just a little shaken up. But mainly, we feel violated. We no longer feel safe in our own home because we're dealing with someone who genuinely thinks they're in the right for A, stalking me, and B, posting our home to her massive audience. What a disgusting abuse of clout that is. This is irresponsible at best and flat out dangerous at worst. YouTube needs to step in and take action. If this goes unpunished, then it sets a terrifying precedent that you can dox and stalk your critics so long as you have a big YouTube audience. If she truly wanted to talk with me, she could have done so through many other means. But there's one thing you don't do. You do not show up at someone's house. That's simply a line you do not cross. There is zero justification for this. She claims in her story that I've been harassing her. No, Sniper Wolf, I've not been harassing you at all. In my videos on Judge Jack's films, I've been critiquing her non-transformative commentary, I point out cases of content theft and freebooting, and I credit the creators she steals from. I've been critical of her content, but that does not equate to harassment. What is harassment is coming to our home, sharing it for millions to see, and taunting me to come out. YouTube needs to take swift action and ban her from the platform ASAP. And the same goes for Instagram. Speaking of, Sniper Wolf is already making light of the situation, as if stalking someone is a quirky thing to do. No one should feel unsafe in their own home. And thanks to Sniper Wolf, my wife and I now do. So YouTube, 
please do the right thing and get her off the platform. Anyone who weaponizes their fan base like she did does not deserve a space here. I stand with Jack and all the points he made in this video. I suggest he takes legal action on her, but then again, I'm not a lawyer. Let me know what you guys' thoughts on this matter is. I hope you all the best, and as always, bye. You can get